Hello everyone, Andy the Broke Geek here and today I've got a bit of a different video for you all. I'm going to be showing you why I call myself the Broke Geek by showcasing all the LEGO sets I got this month. Alright, let's get started. And first up we've got a bunch of LEGO Dots packs. All of these were released earlier in the month. So here we've got the LEGO Dots lettering, uh, lots of Dots pack. Basically a whole bunch of different coloured tiles and different shapes. Love the addition of these curve pieces there. Also got the LEGO Dots Bag Tags Mega Pack. I mainly got these for all the letters that are included. Um, I did previously get the letters from the Dots Creativity Box, but I figured I could never have enough letters. So uh, yeah, that's why I picked that one up. All right, next up, we've got the two message board packs. So I got the smaller one. Oh, to show you what's inside there and of course the, the bigger one there and uh, yeah these caught my attention when they were first announced and I figured I'll get these and, and try them out and maybe I'll create some sort of message and put that in the background of a future video and here we have some Lego series 22 minifigures I uh, haven't opened these yet but I do know what's inside them because I did I was feeling them in the shops and, and just obviously making sure I got what I wanted so I do believe these should contain uh, the Hot Chili Fan, um, that, that sort of Snow Guardian, the Bird Watcher, the Pony and the Trainer, uh, and the Troubadour. Um, absolutely love the minifigure series, so very happy to be adding these to my collection. And here we have the Ahsoka Tano Lego Brickhead. Love the character from the Clone Wars series and of course she's made appearances in Star Wars Rebels, Mandalorian and Boba Fett. Uh, yeah, she's one of my favourite characters so really happy to be adding this one to my collection as well. I, I do wish they would release these more frequently, especially the, uh, the Star Wars ones and the Marvel ones and yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they do a Darth Maul one in future. So for some reason, my brain decided that I should track down all the LEGO Architecture Skyline sets that I didn't already own. So went on to eBay, went on to Bricklink and got all the ones I didn't have. Spent quite a bit of money on these as you can imagine. So this is the first one uh, that was ever released I believe. So this is Venice. Uh, it's got the Realtor Bridge, St. Mark's Basilica, St. Mark's Campanile, St. Theodore and the Winged Lion of St. Mark and the Bridge of Sighs. Also got Berlin, a place I do want to visit someday. So you got Berlin Wall, the Reichstag, the Victory Column, the Deutsche Bahn Tower, Berlin TV Tower, and Brandenburg Gate in this set. Also got Las Vegas there. Las Vegas has the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. Bellagio Hotel, Luxor Las Vegas, Encore at the Wynn, Stratosphere at Las Vegas, and the Fremont Street Experience. San Francisco, this one's pretty neat as well. Got 555 California Street, the Painted Ladies, Trans America Pyramid, Salesforce Tower, Alcatraz Island, the Golden Gate Bridge. I must say that is a pretty, pretty smart uh, use of force perspective there for the Golden Gate Bridge. Here is Dubai. So this one has the Dubai Fountain, Jumeirah Emirates Towers Hotel, Burj Khalifa, Dubai Frame, the Burj Al Arab. And here we have Chicago. And with Chicago, you get the Willis Tower, Cloud Gate, Big Red, John Hancock Center, the Wrigley Building, and du Dusable or du Dusabal Bridge. And of course, I got the new one that was released this year, Singapore. Now, Singapore is a country that I have been to, so really love this set. I'm not too sure why they've, they've, they've changed the packaging though. So they've got this sort of, uh, with the flaps, for this was previously, um, yeah, I suppose it was a more premium, premium packaging, and so I think that might be a cost-saving measure on Lego's part. But with Singapore, you get the famous Marina Bay Sands, Gardens by the Bay, which is 
That was actually my favorite place to visit there. Love the, the super trees. Uh, the Fullerton Hotel, Lao Passat, Juan Raffles Place, the OCBC Center, and Boat Key. Yeah, so really looking forward to building this one. And the last set I picked up is another LEGO architecture set, and it's the LEGO house. As you can see, it's a replica of the LEGO house in Berlin, Denmark. And I, I got this simply because I, I figured I wasn't going to be traveling anytime soon. And because you can only get this set at the LEGO house, and I saw it for a good price online, I figured, look, why not? What I love about this one is just how, how colorful it is. Look, as you can see, so that's, a, I think, a rendering of the actual building there. Um, just the LEGO form there, and it's quite accurate. So. Yeah, another, another set I'm very happy to be adding to the collection there. Well, that's my LEGO haul for March 2022. Let me know what sets you've picked up recently in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more geeky content.